Sources say extreme measures are now being taken by this administration to silence CIA op officers who may know too much about the Benghazi terror attack, even polygraphing those who are on the ground in order to keep them quiet. Our next guest says these tactics may have a chilling effect on our national security. Michael Scheuer is a former CIA operative from the Bin Laden unit. He joins us now from Washington. Mr. Scheuer, thanks a lot uh, for coming on. Pleasure, How, sir. Give us a sense of the precedent for this. Apparently, CIA officers being polygraphed every month, according to reports. Is this normal? Well, if the, if the, if the story is true, sir, the, it's, it's unprecedented. Uh, you, you don't polygraph people out of their turn. You get polygraphed every four or five years regularly, just as a security measure. But you don't do this on a monthly basis. Uh, first of all, if you were looking for something, you're probably going to scare someone away. So this has nothing to do with national security. What this has to do with is intimidation and, and to, in a sense, persecution. The people who risked their lives on the ground in Libya for a war that has been a disaster for the U.S. Uh, nation uh, are now being uh, uh, intimidated that their careers will be ruined or they'll be fired if they happen to say what was going on on the ground at the time. It is uh, cl clearly, I've known John Brennan for a long time and he's the director there and he is a bully of the first order. He will never say anything negative or question anyone above him but for the people below him he is uh, a bully of uh, of epic dimensions. It's, it's hard to think of something worse you could say about a man than, than, what, than what you just said. What is the point, Oh, there's worse, Tucker, but we probably shouldn't go into That's it. That's pretty bad. Um, kissing up and striking down is a pretty awful character flaw. And but costing American lives regularly since 1998. He has been uh, involved in efforts to prevent the, the destruction of Al-Qaeda, uh, whether trying to kill him in the 1990s or uh, d denying us the intelligence from uh, renditions uh, and, and interrogations. He is serving a master who is, has no concern for American security. So this administration has spent a lot more time, effort, and money trying to silence its own employees, CIA officers, than in going after the murderers who killed four Americans. What's the point? What is the secret they are trying to hide and why? You know, I, I, was the ambassador up to something on, in the on the ground that they don't want to become known? I don't know. The, the left now is trying to blame this on the CIA, saying that while well, the CIA was supplying guns uh, to, to Syria through Libya. Well, what, what the American people never understand, and it always astounds me, is that the CIA does nothing without the president's approval. It is peculiarly the instrument of the president of the United yes. States. That is a, a and, point. And a if point they worth were making. sending guns to Syria, it was because the president ordered them to, and perhaps he hadn't told the Congress or anyone else about it. Yes. Well, I, all all things come out in the end, including uh, this secret. It will be revealed. Michael, thank, thanks a lot for joining us. We appreciate it.